I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Phil Green. Welcome to Shell Point Today for Wednesday, March 13th. We have another action-packed show for your enjoyment today, including a trip into David Lee's kitchen for a new culinary caper. We're going to stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for a half an hour. You'll see the coconut start to brown. Diane Rovenstein is here to talk about the relationship between protein and age. Protein intake greater than the RDA can help maintain muscle mass, strength, and function in the elderly. CJ Galata is back with us for another look into the Shell Point Connected Living Program. A question I came across asks, is loneliness associated with a higher risk of Alzheimer's? And Dottie Morrison breaks down what you can expect at this month's Women's Connection meeting. And I'm here to invite you to a very special Women's Connections that I know you're going to want to hear about. But first, we're peering into the cosmos for a look back on this day in history. It was March 13, 1781, when astronomer William Herschel discovered the seventh planet in our solar system, Uranus. The finding was a scientific first, since it was the first planet in our solar system discovered with the use of a telescope. The celestial body was originally believed to have been a star due to the bright color of the planet. First named the Georgian planet in honor of King George III, the name was changed to Uranus, the ancient Greek deity of the heavens, to conform to the classical mythology-derived names of the other known planets. The third largest planet in our solar system, Uranus, is a gas giant orbiting the sun once every 84 Earth years. The stars will be out tomorrow as the Boilermaker Jazz Band brings the sounds of the King of Swing, Benny Goodman, to the Village Church. At 7 p.m., make sure you have your tickets as you'll be transported back to the 1930s for an evening of instantly recognizable big band tunes that are still popular today. For over 30 years, the Boilermakers have traveled around the world perfecting these timeless sounds. Now they're taking a page from Mr. Goodman himself by bringing his unique style of swing jazz to Shell Point. You'll be breaking out your best foxtrot or lindy hop as you dance down the aisles to this classic sound. If you haven't done so, bop your way to any concierge desk and secure your tickets for tomorrow's homage to Benny Goodman, courtesy of the Boilermaker Jazz Band. Speaking of music, also happening tomorrow is the latest toe-tapping academy program, The Origin of the Classical Symphony. FGCU Associate Professor of Musicology, Dr. Thomas Simrusti, is taking a deep dive into the roots of this popular genre of music. Learn about the minds that would create the most well-known compositions, such as Mozart and Beethoven. You'll get a better understanding of how early symphonies were developed and how the idea of orchestra-based music would flourish across the globe. If you consider yourself a music lover and would love to delve into the origins of classical sounds, then make sure you're registered for tomorrow's presentation. To secure your spot in Dr. Simrusti's program, head to shellpoint.net and click on the Academy link. Mmm, something sure smells good over at David Lee's Kitchen. For this week's edition of Culinary Capers, David is joined by a special guest as they cook up a decadent dessert. 